Hi and welcome to the series about the making of Bagged. I'm Luca, the co-writer and director, and I will be showing you the detailed process that we went through to make our latest short film. So every film has three stages of creation, let's call them that. And uh, the first one is pre-production. The second one is production, which is the actual shooting of the film. And the last one is post-production. So once we shot the film, putting it together and delivering the finished result. Let's talk about the script and the idea first. The idea for Bagged came to me, I think it was early June 2018. And I was just stepping into the shower and for the 10 minutes that I took that shower, the whole film basically from start to finish came to me like that. I knew how it started, I knew how it ended, I knew exactly the ending line. It's rare, but you know, there's two magical places where uh, ideas can come to you. And one of them is the shower. And of course, the other one is the throne room. Yeah. It, it's what I call it. So once I had this idea, I immediately went out and typed out a first draft. And with that first draft, I went to my colleague, Karina, who I thought would be perfect to play the part of Mary. And I told her, hey, look, read this, tell me if you like it. I've seen you in a play and I really think that this quirky character matches uh, your personality and your acting skills and we should do this thing together. So now I'm gonna show you a bit of an interview with Karina about how the whole process basically went on. You wanna go say hello? Can we to name the them like hello? Hello viewers. Specific for, hello viewer. <laughs> and then I think I came up like I just wrote the first script. I showed it to you and it was like this needs refinement. In fact, what drew you to wanting to develop it? <laughs> like did you see any potential there or was it like this no, is I crap? Just Let's fame. at least make it better. You wanted no, fame? Fame. Fame and glory. What's that IMDB fame? <laughs> yeah. IMDb okay. fame. Yeah. Check the trivia. Uh, let's actually talk about like uh, how things were back then. We so, can do a read through. <clears throat> well, see you tomorrow, Buttercup. They Bye, can't. silly goose. <laughs> what is this? Oh, this is the <laughs> bathroom scene. <Okay. sighs> Looks like you boys are all very shitty indeed. James, what the hell are you doing? James, are you there? James, you stupid son of a bitch. Uh, who are you there with now, Sarah? Sarah, is that you? <laughs> oh, oh, God, this is horrible. Gosh, she's violent. <laughs> Be quick, you two. And Mary comes next to her mom, interrupting her from watching. Oh, uh, that's where the big knife was. I was looking for it all day. Yeah, so the dialogue was borderline bad. So then you came in, and in that first scene when the, where there was no dialogue, what did you do? You ended up writing a fantastic monologue for Mary. How did you Thank come you. up with that particular line with the mentally deficient? When did we write that? Because I, I want to place it like... Because I know it was because I was watching a specific show, but I'm not sure if that was... Oh, the, may, yeah. It might have been the mighty bush, but I'm not sure. Anyway, it's... But it has that... Uh, yeah, it's stupid. And nobody actually speaks like that. Oh, and it was very headers like, yeah, they have those lines because they didn't want to use actual slang because that agent mm -hmm. very, 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 very Bad poorly. Thing. Yeah, no, but that's that's like it's brilliant because it 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 really sets the tone for how like. Uh, I don't know, stupid and ridiculous the film is gonna be. Even though yeah. the scene is like happening in reality, quote unquote, it pretty much defines the character as this very like imaginative, ridiculous, uh, childish yeah. teenage girl. So, uh, and the problem we had was we didn't have enough tension. For example, we just read the yeah. scene when she comes back home. There was no was, tension. Yes, and she wasn't full of, uh, like, she wasn't wet. She wasn't, because of all the sprinklers and all that, she yeah. wasn't even, like, uh, smeared with uh, with blood or anything. It's a lot more interesting this way. I don't know. I think it's... Uh, there was uh, this thing, like, with how on the nose it should be and how, yeah. like, ridiculous on the nose. Wow, you just, you, you cut a piece of bread with 
a chainsaw. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's a bit stupid. Yeah, yeah. Was that an idea at a certain point? No, I don't think so because those are expensive. We didn't have the budget. I don't think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There was there were a few things that we did to get it into shape. This was a big problem of how many things do we have to explain and how many we can leave as they are. And the idea was, well, okay, but we also don't want to make it too clear that this fantasy world of hers is in her head. So then the idea would have been, okay, so how ridiculous do you go? And that's, I think, why we also added that line of dialogue at the beginning which you wrote with the mentally deficient cat to oh, sort yeah. of set up the whole uh, world of the film and the idea would be that you know you keep watching the movie and you think okay this movie is just ridiculous and at the end it gets flipped around completely i think we also watched some uh, Wes Anderson yeah it's, it was uh, about the visual style and uh, yeah the, yeah the, the, i i get it i get it in a way which i really like it that it doesn't look like a Wes Anderson film now like you don't really feel an influence of it it doesn't look like heathers at all you know it doesn't yeah. have a those those vibes it's, it it really came out quite unique which is a, a big big bonus okay so the biggest problem with that we had really with this was uh coming up with the title uh oh yeah because over the top is uh i found out it's um it's some sylvester, sylvester stallone, stallone yeah it's a wrestler uh, 80s I, I think he's a professional arm wrestler in that film <laughs> and also a truck oh, driver so when when we came up with that title which was actually quite late it was more of a okay let's find a temporary title so we know how yeah. to hold for the crowdfunding campaign But before that, we had a, like we struggled a lot to come up with the title. We didn't have any title until pre-production, until you know November twenty yeah. nineteen. We went through songs from Beatles, from whatever, name it. Yeah. We wanted to name it Masochism Tango at a certain point. Oh, this yeah. is the end credits theme. And it's a bit <laughs> like a tango because he murders him, and tango is a bit like murder in a way. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I was really set on Glass Onion because oh, like Shrek said um she has layers. Shrek isn't an but Indian like, influence but <laughs> it's a, it, it is a bit and Sounds it's a bit like, like a deconstruction of culture. Uh one last thing which I was going to touch on is so far like with the feedback that I've been getting everyone pointed out that the bags falling out of the window is like the funniest thing. Yeah, we have to give credit to Dodo for that cuz oh. uh we were rehearsing and he was like, "But why does she have to like carry me in one bag? Why can't she cut me into pieces and have more bags, you know, and we can see them throw all the bags?" And I was like, oh. "Stop right there. That's it. She struggles to carry one bag and then we cut to one bag falls and then another falls and is the blue Danube and it was perfect. So yeah, there you go there. That's uh Dodo has I, many great ideas. For, yeah, for some reason, for some reason, I was thinking that yeah. if you just chop up a person and put it all in one bag, he would be lighter. For some reason, like, why? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, Where thanks for joining it? me. Good job on the script. Great job on the script. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, yeah, we will uh, we will hear from you uh, at the premiere. However, that's gonna be I don't know, but we'll see. Okay, so thanks for following through, and I'll be seeing you all in the next video when we're going to progress with how this film got made. So until next time, well, I guess I'll see you when I see you. Bye.